What's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303. I'm doing another review today of the uh, White and Varsity Red Jordan 6 uh, Retro um, released earlier today. So, um, real quick, I just want to, you know, um, compare these with the, uh, the Black and Varsities. Um, heard some complaints that the red's pretty dull and uh, it's not very bright, things like that. It's actually side by side, the same exact color. Um, the reason why one looks better than the other is because one's based on a black colorway, the other one's based off of white. Everybody knows that any color on a white shoe will really make that color pop. So that's what these guys do for the red here. Um, but it is the same, same exact uh, Varsity Red uh, paint that they use. So, um, you know, that's, that's that. And uh, I got my uh, motorsports out right now um, compare the uh, the leather quality um, this is uh, my friend's pair he bought this morning um, I'm gonna go pick up mine later on uh, after seeing them in person these are really really nice um, the leather quality on them is a bit shiny but it is a really good uh, nice graded leather um, synthetic of course um, so the entire upper is synthetic leather. You have your, your black outsole with your ice clear bottoms um, and uh, the red paint and then uh, the rest of everything is, is black, white, and red. So it's your typical white, white and red colorway of a Jordan 6. Um, you know, the, the leather quality here, like I was saying, is, it's a really nice um, graded leather. There is different grades to a synthetic leather. So. Um, the, uh, the grades on these versus the nines, the nines is like maybe like a 50 cent per square foot. It might be even less than that uh, graded type of uh, synthetic leather. This is probably a couple dollars worth per square foot. So, you know, Nike, um, when you're making shoes or Jordan brand, whoever, uh, anybody making shoes, it's going to be pricing anything at 100 plus, um, especially when they're at 150. Um, I expect to have really fucking awesome quality shoes and if I don't you are not going to be getting my money so um, you know the Jordan 9's had the one of the worst quality uh, leather grades on there that I've ever seen um, I think even some of the countdown packs believe it or not might have beat the leather quality and the, the countdown packs were atrocious um, so you know um, real quick uh, how to tell if a leather is a, a good grade synthetic or not is to for one touch it um, it's it has a much softer smooth feel um, the second is to just give it a little press um, you see those wrinkles that that span out out of there kind of looks like the design on the uh, upper portion of some of the hyperfuse that are going to be coming out um, that little crackle print that comes out that's how you could tell that a leather is a good quality um, you know you press on on these here and it does the same thing it starts to wrinkle up um, it does it does allow the shoe to crease easily so you know it's a give or take thing um, if you're gonna wear the shoes who fucking cares um, you know you wear shoes they're gonna crease but um, you know like I said if I'm gonna spend 150 bucks I expect this type of shit. Um, actually, I don't even expect this type of stuff. I expect this shit right here. This is fucking premium. Um, you know, I spent retail on these guys right here, 175. I will tell you guys, Jordan Brand, Nike, any other brand out there right now, that I will pay $200 at least if you do quality like this. You could put out any pair of fucking shoes you want. If you're gonna put out anything from the ones all the way up to the 23s, if you're gonna retro any of those, if they're not fucking premium quality. You can't you can't make me buy that shit for 150, and you shouldn't make anybody else buy that shit for that price either, because it's not right. Um, you're really ripping people fucking off. Whoever bought the uh, the powder blue nines really got fucking screwed over, because um, it was it was probably, uh, yeah, it was one of the worst re retros uh, quality wise I've ever seen. Um, so one thing I want to point out with these guys right here is that um, when my friend was at the mall he was able to pick and choose between his pairs because the paint job on these is quite sloppy um, there's not too many flaws on these but you can see that the red is bled over a little bit um, you know like I said it's not too bad but again he he got his uh, his pick out of all of them so if your store owners um, or shop managers won't let you do that try to find somebody else or try to um, you know get uh, getting good with the managers because uh, that's that's one of the biggest steps to getting your sneakers that you want um, I'm friends with 
managers at all of the shops that I shop at, and it definitely helps me out, and uh, you know, it gives their shops some money as well. So um, you know, that that's uh, that's that's a really good thing to have is a, a dedication to a shop and um, know the people that work there. So, but anyway, so you can see here that some of the the paint is a little off. Um, this pair has a nice little flaw right here. It's not paint. It's not glue. It just won't come off. Um, and then some, uh, like there's like a red dot there and stuff like that. The stitching, stitching isn't great um, throughout the shoe. Uh, you have some loose threads here. Um, this one, uh, where there's the little groove inside the top, um, the stitching actually missed the groove in this section right there, so it went down and back into it. So, you know, but I'm not going to complain too much about that because, uh, you know, like I said, the quality on these is much better than a lot of the other stuff that's, that's been releasing. Um, you can see here some of the threads are out of the, the basketball of the, the, the jump man and stuff like that. But, um, you know, so, yeah, um, I'm going to pick these up. I actually really like them. Um, Quality-wise, is is pretty damn good. Um, nothing to really complain about. They look fucking sweet too. So, um, you know, uh, a lot of people are going to be missing out on these. There's full size runs everywhere you go, uh, for these white and varsities because everybody's wanting the, um, uh, the infrared pack. Um, me personally, you know, the OG colorways, uh, such as the infrareds, um, it's a really beautiful shoe. Um, it's it's gonna be one of those releases. It's it's what I call a hype release. So um, unless you're really in love with the infrareds, you know, for real, um, you have like some type of weird memories or, or attachment towards that shoe. That's the only reason in my mind that would make sense to go pick up that pack because that's gonna be one fucking hassle um, to try and pick that up. Um, and then you know most of the people that are gonna be buying them unfortunately are fucking resellers, and then they're gonna go and rape everybody afterwards um, with aftermarket prices, and that's just not cool. So, um, you know, if you want the infrared pack, go for it. But I'm telling you right now, it's a hype release. Um, you know, it's just another way for Jordan Brand to get, you mon uh, get your money out of you. And to be quite honest, I, I haven't felt them, so don't quote me on this. But I have a feeling that these right here are going to be better quality than the white infrareds. Um, the quality of the black pair is probably going to be just like these guys because they use the same damn materials. They just painted over the varsity with uh, infrared. So um, you're probably going to get you know, the same thing out of this that you did out of the black and varsity reds, um, with the infrared pack, but, uh, the white varsity, and plus this is easier to match with, dude, like, I mean, they don't make fucking infrared t-shirts and shit, so, um, you know, uh, this is, this is gonna be a good look right here, um, nice, clean, easy to go with, uh, can't really beat white and red, it's a bull's colorway, so, like I said, unless you're an OG head, um, or, you know, you're just a hype beast, um, go for it and get the pack. I'm not even going to waste my time because they're only releasing, from what I've heard, at Foot Lockers and, and uh, certain, uh, like, House of Hoops and stuff like that. So, um, but, uh, you know, buy what you like. If you like the infrareds, go for it. If you like the Varsity Reds, I highly recommend it. And I really don't recommend much of Jordan Brand's shit lately anyways. So, um, that's saying something, um, you know, but, uh, that's what it is, um, Jordan Brand, Nike, if you make shoes like this, I'll fucking pay you anything, dude, I'll pay you anything to make shoes like this on a daily basis, um, quit coming out with bullshit releases, cause it's pissing me off, and, uh, it's pissing off quite a few other people that have been stayed loyal to you since 85, and, um, you know, I think that we as, uh, the consumer deserve it, so, anyways, this is the review, they're nice, they're fucking nice, they're beautiful, um, it's, definitely nowhere near as crappy as the powder blue nine so um if you like them go cop them if not then you know miss out who cares all right guys thanks for watching and uh have a good weekend